Hey folks, I'm not entirely certain what it is that I want to say to you today. I, I, I found out a couple of days ago from a buddy of mine that a longtime friend of ours was convicted and, and is being sent to prison for something. It's something indefensible, horrendous. I can't even imagine that this person could do these things. And yet, he's been given a, a prison sentence. This is an important person. Not just because they're my friend. Yes, they were important to me. You know, we'd lost touch, but they still, I still love them. But this person was an activist. They worked diligently, tirelessly, to change laws, to be more inclusive of, of people. They work tirelessly, tirelessly to make the world a better place for thousands of people. He was an activist on the front lines of numerous battles for segments of our population. And then you find out something like this. And I'm not entirely certain what I'm supposed to do with it. I'm not entirely certain what I'm supposed to do with it. What he did that he got the pr prison time for was horrible. But 20 years ago, the work he did was world changing. It was cutting edge. It made the world a better place for people who were seen as less than, seen as broken, seen as unworthy, people to be despised. And he was there for them. So what then? Do I say he's awful because of what he's done? Do I say he's a monster and, and, and must be ignored and must be condemned because of what he's done in the last few years? And do I ignore everything, all the good that he did up until this point because of these last few years? Does what he did these last couple of years, does it erase all of the good, all of the loving things that he offered the world? Do I throw away the entirety of his legacy because of these crimes? I really am asking. You all heard about Joss Wheaton, the, the, the Hollywood director. News has sort of been breaking over the last year or so that he makes uh, sets basically a, an incredibly toxic work environment. Now, I absolutely despised the movie Justice League, but I loved Serenity. I loved Firefly. Do I throw all that out because on set he's, he's a monster? Recently, a, a now deceased minister by the name of Ravi Zacharias. He died, I think, last year. A, a, a man who spoke to millions of people, sold books, gave talks, was uh, an amazing apologist for the Christian faith. Led how many to come to know Christ? Find out now that he was basically a sexual predator, that he, he made the work environment incredibly toxic for, for the females that he worked with, that he was he sexually harassed, he was sexually inappropriate with. What then? Do we throw all of the work that he did over the course of his, the entirety of his career out because of these crimes? I promise I'm not trying to be facetious. I'm not even trying to make a point because I genuinely don't know how to move forward. The only example I come to in the Bible is, is David. 
You know, he, after he sleeps with Bathsheba, he ends up having her husband killed, he basically murders her husband so that nobody finds out that he's been inappropriate, that nobody finds out he took another man's wife and got her pregnant. But when people find out, that's it. That's the end of his, that's the end of his, his reign. It's never the same again. He never carries the same respect he never has, doesn't ever seem to recover from that moment with his people. I think the lesson I'm going to learn from this, and maybe that's what I'll share with you, is our legacy is a treasure. Yes, we all make mistakes. Yes, we all do bad things from time to time. But the legacy we build is important. It's valuable. We've got to see it as something to cherish, something to hold on to. And part of the way we do that, part of the way we nurture our legacy, the work we've done in the past, is to make sure that in this present and in the future, we're acting as honorably as we possibly can, that we're acting justly as much as possible, that we are continuously acting along the lines of the things we teach and of the work we do. It's a terrifying thing to think that a lifetime of work could be erased and minimi or minimized because of the mistakes we make later on. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that all of us would work to protect the legacies we wish to, to leave behind for the world. That we, we would be mindful that what we've done in the past is still of value today and in the future and must therefore be protected as we walk forward. Amen.